Today we are going to be working on solving, oop, it says solving two-step equations, but we're actually solving multi-step equations today and we're going to be focused on what to do when you have like terms in your equation. So the equations are going to go from pretty simple to what looks overwhelming, but if you follow the steps, it's, it's not really any harder than what we've been doing. So um, first, just a reminder, I'm just going to get rid of myself here. Um, that we are still going to be using the order of operations. So we're going to be toggling back and forth between simplifying each side of the equation and then solving. So as we simplify, we follow the order of operations. As we solve, we use inverse operations and follow the order of operations in reverse, okay? So you can read through these later. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the first example. And I strongly recommend that you get out a piece of paper and you follow along on paper and you pause as you need to so that you can stay with me. Um, practicing these on your own is essential to getting good at it. So example one, we have 14 equals 5 times n minus 2 plus 3 times n. And we're trying to figure out what value I can put here and here to make this equation true in order to make this side of the equation equal 14. So sometimes you can figure these out in your head, and that's awesome when you can, but out in the real world, usually the answers are messy, so you need a system. So here's how we do it. Step one, simplify both sides of the equal sign by combining like terms. Sometimes we're able to do that, and sometimes we're not. I'm not going to write my equation here because I think I might need all these lines. So I'm going to go ahead and begin with the first step, which is to combine like terms. On the left-hand side, there's only one term there, right? There's nothing to combine. So I know I can begin by writing my 14 equals. But on the right-hand side, I do have like terms. Like terms are either just plain old numbers. Those are called constants. You can combine those together on the same side of the equal sign. I can't combine these together, the 14 and the minus 2, because they're on opposite sides. But if they're on the same side, you can. Or if you have a variable, the same variable. These are like terms. Notice I included the plus when I circled the 3n because that plus belongs to what comes right after it. A lot of times people get confused and they think 5n minus 3n, but the minus belongs to the 2. The 3n has a plus. We can combine these together because they're like terms. 5n's plus 3 more n's is going to be 8n's. And so we would write 8 n's. And then this minus 2, we can't ignore it. We have to drop it down. So that's the first step here, and that's called combine like terms. So what I did here was I combined like terms. And this is a simplifying step, right? I made this side of the equal sign more simple. Now we have a basic two-step equation. So I want you to think about what comes next here. So we did step one, we simplified both sides of the equal sign by combining like terms, and now we're using inverse operations to collect all variables on one side of the equal sign. They already are, okay? They're already on one side, so I don't have to do that step here. So now I'm using order of operations in reverse and inverse operations to get the variable alone. I have a times eight and I have a minus two. Solving, we start at the bottom and go up. So I'm going to deal with any addition or subtraction first. And the way we get rid of a minus 2 is with a plus 2. So 14 equals 8 times n minus 2. And I'm going to get rid of that subtraction by doing a plus 2 on the left, plus 2 on the right. So what did I do? I added 2 to both sides. Now we simplify. I'm going to simplify the left and simplify the right. So now I'm simplifying both sides. These are like terms. 14 plus 2 is 16. Over here, these are like terms. Negative 2 and positive 2 cancel. And I'm left with 8 times n. Remember, we can't combine this 8 with these numbers because this 8 is attached to the n. Okay, These are not like terms. Now I have to get rid of a times 8. And the way I get rid of a times 8 is to divide by 8. So 16 divided by 8 is going to equal 8 times n divided by 8. Times 8 and divided by 8 are inverse operations. They cancel. Now I simplify. 
16 divided by 8 is 2 equals n. n is alone, n equals 2. I can check that really quickly. I just want to show you how you would do that. This means 14 equals 5 times, well, 2, minus 2, plus 3 times 2. And I just want to show you, because it's kind of cool, that you can take a Desmos scientific calculator. Let me get it so you can see it. OK. And what I'm going to do is actually look back here, and I'm going to type 5 times 2 minus 2 plus 3 times 2. Oi, I'm going to have trouble remembering that. OK, 5, five times 2 minus 2, 5 times 2 minus 2. I think it was plus 3 times 2, OK? So I'm just typing that in, and I get 14. And when I come back and look at my equation, it was supposed to equal 14. So that's a super easy way to check your work. Replace your variables with what you got and make sure it equals what it's supposed to equal, OK? All right, there's number one. Take a deep breath. Example two. All right. Here again, I have ends in multiple places, but this one is very different because the ends are on opposite sides of the equal sign. I have negative seven ends over here, and I have six ends over here, and you cannot combine them because they are on opposite sides of the equal sign, and that's really important. You can only combine like terms on the same side because it's a simplifying step. And unfortunately, these are not like terms, so I can't combine them. And these are not like terms, so I can't combine them. So step one, where it says simplify both sides of the equal sign by combining like terms, I actually, whoops, I can't do it because there are no like terms, okay, on either side. Step two says use inverse operations to collect all variables on one side of the equal sign. So what I'm going to do is write down my original equation, 20 minus 7n, I'm going to leave some space, equals 6n minus 6. So here's what I need to do. I need to use inverse operations to either make these disappear or to make these disappear. Okay, that's how I'm going to collect them all on one side. You can do either one. The way I would get negative 7 n's to disappear is by adding 7 n's. And the way I would get 6 n's to disappear is by subtracting 6 n's. This one's going to be a little easier. So the rule of thumb is the smaller coefficient, so this coefficient here is negative 7, is going to be easier to get rid of usually. So that's what I'm going to do. The way I'm going to get rid of these minus 7 n's is to add 7 n's. Not 7, 7 n's. Negative 7 n's and positive 7 n's, this is inverse operations. They're going to cancel, and I can do that as long as I do it on the other side of the equal sign as well. Okay. Now, these cancel. Okay, so what did I do? I added 7n to both sides. My next step is going to be to simplify each side, and I'm going to write combine like terms, because that's really what I'm going to be doing here. I combine these like terms, they cancel. The 20 drops down. The equal sign drops down. Now I have like terms over here. I have 6n plus 7n. 6n's plus 7n's is 13n's, okay? And this minus 6 drops down. So what I did was I added 7n's to both sides, okay? That got all the variables on the same side of the equal sign, and then I was able to combine the like terms so that now I only have an n in one spot, okay? All right, I think you can take it from here. Now we have a two-step equation, so see if you can finish it. Next step is to add 6 to both sides. So we would have 20 plus 6 equals 13 n's minus 6 plus 6. These will cancel. So this next step is to simplify each side of the equal sign. These are like terms. 20 plus 6 is 26. These are like terms, and they cancel, and the 13 n drops down. 13n means 13 times n, and the way I get rid of a times 13 is to divide by 13 on both sides. So I'm going to divide by 13 on the left. I'm going to divide by 13 on the right. 26 divided by 13 is 2. 
13 divided by 13, those cancel. So n equals 2 again. If you got that, give yourselves a giant pat on the back because this was this is intense. Look at this, right? It's pretty intense. Two more examples. All right. Take a deep breath. If you feel confident, you are welcome to try to do this on your own and then watch to see if you did it right. So first step is to simplify both sides of the equal sign by combining like terms. These are not like terms, so I cannot simplify this side, so I'll just drop it down. But over here, I do have like terms, 6x and negative 5x. Remember that that negative belongs to the 5x. 6x minus 5x is 1x, and then plus 3. So what did I do? I combined like terms. Okay. Now I'm still having an issue because I have x's over here and I have x's over here and I can't have that. I have to, I'm going to put a 1 there. It'll make it easier. I have to pick one of these and move it, basically. So what I'm going to do is focus on this one because it's smaller. Negative 1 is smaller than positive 1. And the way I'm going to get rid of negative 1x's is to add 1x because negative 1x and positive 1x will cancel. And so my next step is going to be to add 1x to both sides. Now this isn't the only way to do it. You could also subtract 1x from both sides. So I've got 9 minus 1x, I'm going to leave some space, equals 1x plus 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to add 1x to both sides of the equal sign. Okay, so that was a solving step. Now I do a simplifying step. I'm going to simplify the left by combining like terms. Negative 1x and positive 1x cancel. 9 drops, equal sign drops. Over here, 1x plus 1x is 2x, and the plus 3 drops down. Now we have a two-step equation, so what should we do next? Subtract 3 from both sides. Okay, so I brought this down and I brought this down, subtracted 3 from both sides. Now we simplify by combining like terms. 9 minus 3 is 6. These are like terms, positive 3 and negative 3, and they cancel, 2x. Last step, the way we get rid of a times 2 is to divide by 2. Okay, Divide by 2 on both sides. Okay, 6 divided by 2 is 3. These cancel, x equals 3, and I got that by simplify. So you can see the process here is you go back and forth between simplifying and solving. Combine like terms, that's simplifying. Then we use inverse operations. Then we simplify. Then we use inverse operations, simplify, inverse operations, simplify. And you just keep doing that until you get x alone. Again, I want you to take a look at this. This is intense, right? And it may look overwhelming, but if you take it step by step, you can definitely do it. We're going to do one more example. All right. Again, if you feel confident, I would love for you to try this on your own and then check back in to see if you did it right. Okay. First step, simplify by combining like terms. So over here, I do have like terms. I have negative 7n minus 4n. And I'm actually going to pull my calculator over because I want to show you with the negative, sometimes it's tricky and it's not a bad idea to check on the calculator. What I had was negative 7n minus 4n. And of course the calculator's like, I cannot do that, right? Because it can't deal with these n's. So let's just figure out what negative 7 minus 4 is. Okay, it's negative 11. So that means that negative 7n minus 4n is going to equal negative 11n, okay? So just make sure you understand why, why that's the case. So coming back here, I'm going to have negative 11n's on the left, and then this 3 doesn't have anything to combine with. I'm just simplifying over here, so I drop it down. On the right, 
This 11 doesn't have anything to combine with. There are no other constants. But these can be combined. Negative 2n minus 8n. So if we start at negative 2n and we go 8 farther on the negative side, right, down by 8, we're going to end up at negative 10n. And because it was negative, I'm putting a minus in front of it. So that first step was to combine like terms. Okay, combine like terms. All right, now I still have an issue. I can't really start trying to get n alone until n is in one spot. So you have choices here. You can move this one or you can move this one. I always choose the smaller one. Well, I usually choose the smaller one, which in this case is negative 11n. That's smaller than negative 10n. It's farther in the negative side on the number line. So the way I'm going to get rid of negative 11n's is to add 11n's to both sides. So negative 11n plus 3, leaving some space, equals 11 minus 10n. And now I'm going to get rid of this by adding not 11, but 11n's to both sides. Adding 11n's to both sides. So add 11n to both sides. Now I'm going to simplify again by combining like terms. So on the left side, I have negative 11n and positive 11n. Those are like terms, and they cancel. The three drops, equal sign drops. On the right-hand side, this 11 doesn't have anything to combine with, so it will drop. Negative 10n plus 11n. I'm going to use my calculator to double check. Negative 10 plus 11. So negative 10, whoops, negative 10 plus 11 is 1. So that means negative 10n plus 11n will equal 1n. So that means that when I combine these together, they become a positive 1n. Do not drop that negative down, because when you combine them together, it becomes positive 1n, so you need that plus there. Now we try to get the n alone. We have the times 1 and the plus 11, but we start down here when we're solving with addition and subtraction. This is a times 1, and this is a plus 11. So I'm going to begin by subtracting 11 from both sides. So we'll have 3 minus 11 equals, I'm going to copy this down, 11 plus 1n minus 11. So I'm subtracting 11 here, subtracting 11 here. Now I simplify again by combining like terms on each side. 3 minus 11, feel free to consult your calculator. It's negative 8. These are like terms. 11 minus 11, they cancel, and I'm left with 1n. And just a quick trick, 1n is the same thing as n. They're the same. So I'm actually done. n equals negative 8. Very tricky, very tough. The way you get better at this is with practice. So go forth and practice your solving.